Well, today I've got a fuse to change. So first, let's pop the cover off the plug. Well, at first glance, I don't like the wiring, so that'll be redone. It does have a pass test on it. I'll just cover up the company name. Actually, no, I won't. Whoever they are, I would never have passed that. See, the earth is as it should be. The neutral a little bit long. What is really bad is the live or the phase connector is far too long. Why that's important is if the cable gets pulled while it's in the plug, first the live should come out, then the neutral, and last the earth. And that bit of plastic there, and this there, is supposed to stop that from accidentally making contact up here as it's getting pulled out. It's got a 7 amp fuse. For some reason, in the power supply, it did pop. So what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm going to replace that with a 100 or an 80 amp fuse. Um, whoops. Uh, I don't think that's going to fit somehow. Yeah, well, here's the 80. Well, no, that won't go in. What I'm thinking is, if I solder a bit of wire here, a bit of wire here, and bring, bring it out, and then shove one in there, and then just solder the other end of the wire to that bit, and then put the back back on it, and then put it on with a cable tie, and just jam it in there with a cable tie. Yeah, I am joking by the way. And not that I do that, but um, I am going to rewire that plug and well, I'll have to pause it and put the camera down for a moment. But again, part test label and look at the state of it. This is the sort of stuff that I see in charity shops and with the exposed pins here again in charity shops with a pat test. I did have words for local charity shop that had a 13 amp fuse in a plug with bell wire going to a lamp. Um, well, let's pause it now. I'll rewire this and see you in a moment. Well, I'm back. Uh, that's the length I do like to see. In plug with the wire cable around is quite short. So if it does get pulled, that should come out first, then the neutral, and then the earth. But still for that fuse, um, well, it's that's not going to fit. Um, but when it turns out, the fuse is fine. So let's pop it back in. And there we go. I did that with a pair of Nipex. Got these on eBay. I think they're around 35 quid. So of that can't remember. It's got a nice cutter and a stripper. You found somewhere the ring is on the outside. On this one, it's on the inside. Makes no difference. Well, here's one of the small boxes. These ones are by Fat Stanley. They're about 74, 78 pounds for the four of them. Long nose, box nose, Cut it, snip it, whatever you want to call it. You can't, with some skill, use these as strippers as well. 
on twin lift. I wouldn't use it on flex really. Just some of these small drivers. Use these on live terminals on busbar or attaching cables to live busbar. And get some more of the I think this one is the there it is 10 to 30 and getting the next size up that lives somewhere there. <clears throat> over here we've got the fluke 150 now I saw one of these in eBay to some idiot in Spain and um, that said to me oh the VTE is a different meter and these are much cheaper. It was sold in the calibration documents. But I bought myself the 110. I think it is. You get the 110. Just to do a basic comparison. The 130 is pretty much the same. Well, it is the same. But it just doesn't have the ohms feature. Useful when you're working on motors and fridges and aircon units. Or just for testing the transformer. Apart from that, the 130 is just as good and quite a bit cheaper. So if you don't need it, don't buy it. Buy the 130 and put the rest of the money to something else. Now this by Blue Spot, the retail from 13 to 15 quid. Now this is my second set to a set in the other toolbox. Now I found these very good for when I'm doing work on some coffee machines to get the side panels off. And these ones for reaching into the awkward places to get to the solenoid valves. Again, blue spot. Lifetime warranty, but they do ask you for your receipts uh, where you bought it from and each piece you got to register which I find a bit of a pain in the ass. pardon my friends Wagos and Ideals I think they're 4 to 6 mil is it? Got the American side standard on one side, and there we go, 20 amp. Actual box is K E T E R. I've just stuck it on um, our board. Ah, that fell out. That should live in there. There we go. That's all getting tidied up. These little stumpies. Yeah. If you're in a tight spot under the kitchen unit and you're trying to rewire a cooker outlet, get yourself some of these stumpies. They're about 24 to 26 quid. Also available tool station. I did see them in the CAF catalogue. I'm going there later, well, tomorrow, to buy some split drivers. And I've wanted to be insulated for live terminals. Well, that's enough. Well, the guy I bought these off, I did send him a message back saying it doesn't fit me plug. Uh, he found it funny in the end when he realised I was just having a bit of a laugh. 
He goes, oh, you can just borrow those at any high street. That's sent to the back apologising. Um, well, I was bored. I said that I, I wanted a 10 amp. I must have put an extra Z in him by mistake. I said to him, that, well, they did look a bit big. <laughs> uh, 80 amp, I was to get away with that one. I've never seen an 8 amp. I've seen uh, 3, 5, 7, 10 and 13. Um, the standard plug top 1368, is it? I, th I think that... I think that's about, I think that's right. Is it BS thirteen sixty eight? Can't remember. I should know. Well, whatever it is, doesn't matter now. Well, that's enough of me being silly today. That's all, folks.